Let's move on to the next story, space race. It is back on. We've got Silicon Valley's race to space. Elon Musk, he's back on top now. Even though Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos' company was first, it's called Blue Origin, in launching a, the space rocket in November successfully, we've got Elon Musk's SpaceX. It, too, successfully landed the 15-story, yes, it's 15 stories high. It was a Falcon 9 rocket at Cape Canaveral. This happened in Florida last night. It is an historic step toward commercial space flight and potentially more manned missions into space. Some people are talking Mars. That sounds out there. We've got astrophysicist Charles Liu. He is saying that the SpaceX landing it's not only going to change the way we travel, not just in space, but on Earth. He is an astrophysicist at CUNY College of Staten Island. He's here in a Fox Business exclusive. So what was so spectacular about this SpaceX launch that we've been, we've been missing in the media? It's amazing, Liz. Imagine if you, I, I took this from your green room. I hope this is okay, a little swizzle stick. Imagine if it were sitting in a martini glass right here in this studio. It were launched half a mile up well past the Empire State Building, then a piece of it broke off, got sent to Connecticut, and then the rest of it turned around, flipped, and came back down and landed in the same martini glass straight up without a splash. That's precision, That's what it did. right? Yes, yes. So, you know, SpaceX has had, here we're, we're showing the rocket launch right there. So it, the, you also said at the break that it launched a, another booster rocket, and that shot 50 miles into space. Right. Did, this rocket went further and faster than uh, Jeff Bezos' rocket, yes. right? Yes. What's really important about this is that what SpaceX did was actually deliver a payload into orbit as well. And then it brought the main rocket booster, the first stage is called, back down to Earth. And that's what we're seeing on the screen right now. It was really remarkable watching it live. Well, how will this help the rest of the world and us back here on Earth? Very simply, it's all about money. A typical rocket like that, which was just landed, costs over $50 million. But the fuel that's used in it costs less than half a million dollars. So you're saying a reusable rocket would be cheaper. It yeah, we know would that. cut down the cost by 99%. What other technology, technologies or, or services could you see? I understand that. Let me back up. Mm -hmm. NASA awarded a contract, yes. uh, $2.6 billion, uh, to SpaceX to yes. basically taxi astronauts to the International Space Station. Right. You know, Boeing was in on that, got a piece of it, $4.2 billion for Boeing. I mean, is the space race back on, and how, how is that good for the United States and the rest of the world? The space race is back on in a different way than it was, say, during the Cold War. In the past, it was countries competing with one another. But now, on the cutting edge, nations are cooperating. There are five different space agencies that are combining to work the International Space Station today. But what's happened is that we are now allowing corporations to do some of the more mundane things, things that we've been doing for many years, but now don't need that higher level of research and development, things that might actually be able to turn a profit today. So that's why Blue Origins, or SpaceX, or Orbital Sciences, these different corporations... Richard are, Branson's group, yeah. yes. Are getting contracts in order to try to do things like lift satellites into low Earth so orbit. So investors a place here for investors as well. Good there stuff. There could be. Yes, Thank indeed. you, Charles Liu, sure. astrophysicist. Great stuff there. Thanks for describing that. It was really interesting information. My pleasure. Markets